Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. And on behalf of both families, I would like to warmly welcome each and every one of you here today on this wonderful occasion. It is hard, though, on a day like today, not to think back to the magical day when Laura was born. The miracle of birth. I can still picture it now as if it were yesterday. We were both so we were both so excited bringing Laura home, but also nervously thinking, it's all up to us now. It may surprise you to know that when Laura was very young, and I mean just two or three years old, she was literally obsessed with the Disney film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. She would ask to watch it time after time and would sit in front of the television mesmerized by it, perhaps dreaming that one day she too would meet her very own Prince Charming. Aww. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems that she has indeed found him in Mr. Cameron Tate. I know Cammy is a good, solid man who has already impressed us with his thoughtfulness and unshakable love for our daughter. And I would like to thank Ewan and Jeanette for the great job they've done. Cammy, since we first met you in 2017, Karen, Melissa, Joanna and I have been so pleased to welcome you into the family. Not only do you put everyone you meet at ease, you occasionally crack a good joke or two as well. I'm sure you'll follow in my footsteps and keep Laura entertained with dad jokes for years to come. Above all that though, we know you are genuinely such a kind and caring individual and I couldn't ask for a better son-in-law and husband for Laura. To my older sister and her very charming groom, I have a few short words for you before we do resume. <laughs> I think I speak for all of us when I gladly say how thrilled we are to be here on your special wedding day. What a brilliant setting, a castle so unique, and in the words of Cameron, it's rather fantastique. <laughs> I cannot quite believe it. Today's the day, oh my. Laura, I'm so happy you've met such a brilliant guy. Cammy, you're a character, a joy to be around, chatty, kind and friendly, and really rather sound. <laughs> You're just the greatest couple there could ever truly be. We're all so pleased to welcome you into the family. Laura, <laughs> you're amazing. My sister and my friend, someone I can go to, who'll be there to the end. Sorry. <laughs> Smart, thoughtful, warm, and a heart that's very true. It isn't any wonder Cameron wants to marry you. As soon as you both met each other, Cammy seemed to know that Laura was the one with her warm and special glow. <laughs> After that first date, to the second you did hurry, and Laura trapped your taste buds with her very famous curry. <laughs> Since 2017, we've watched your love and happiness grow, supporting one another through every high and low. Your love is something special, it's clear for all to see. So we were overjoyed when Cammy got down on one knee. You've built a life together in your home in Morningside and you'll bring that warmth and joy along wherever you reside. I wish so much love and happiness to Mr and Mrs Tate. The future's looking glorious. Can't wait to celebrate. Laura knows that I love movies and as we all know, the first kiss in romantic comedies are always the huge moment. So here is the story of Laura and I's first kiss. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, you heard at the ceremony Ali briefly mentioned second date curry night. Laura would tell me several years later this was the night she had wished we had shared our first kiss. Picture the scene. <laughs> we are standing by the door saying our goodbyes after a lovely evening. I reach for my jacket. I notice Laura staring deeply into my eyes. The music begins to play in my head, just like the movies. Na 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 na. <laughs> this was the moment. So completely off script, I panic. I make a funny ah sound, and I kiss Laura, and I kiss Laura on the forehead and run out the door. <laughs> but don't worry, everyone, because in every great movie, the hero has a redemption arc. And I knew when the moment arrived. I would be ready. Cut the next scene. Laura and I are walking home from our third day when we reach a point in the walk home and we have to go our separate ways for the night. Laura turns and says, thank you for a lovely evening, but I better get home now. It's raining quite heavy. To which I respond, is it still raining? I hadn't noticed. 
I, I knew this was the moment and this time I was ready. <laughs> we both leaned in and shared our first kiss. But wait, out of nowhere, I felt a tap on my shoulder. I play it off merely as a figment of my ima imagination. But then I feel two more taps, once, twice. I have to see who's tapping me on the shoulder. I open my eyes and I look up for my first kiss to Laura to be greeted by a homeless man who said, got any spare change, mate? <laughs> <laughs> to which I said, can't you see I'm a little busy right now? <laughs> I love this story because unlike the romantic comedies, life isn't perfect. However, someone like Laura brings such love into my life that as long as she is by my side, then life really is perfect. I love you to the moon and back. <laughs>